What's up guys, I device help here, and you may remember last week I talked about iOS 10.3 being rolled out to the public. Everyone was able to download it, and uh, there's a lot to talk about, because today Apple released iOS 10.3, Point one. You may remember me telling you last week that Apple released the first beta for iOS 10.3.2 beta 1. Okay, so that was released after 10.3 was released to the public. This was released to developers. But as I mentioned, there was a number missing between 10.3 right there, 10.3, and 10.3.2. And that was available today over the air update for all devices including 32-bit devices that support iOS 10. Now this does not include any device that didn't support iOS 10 in the past so don't don't think you're gonna get an update on the iPhone 4s or anything like that. Only 32-bit devices that are running iOS 10 i.e. the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5C and so on. So 10.3.1 brings security enhancements as usual. Now for those who are jailbreakers, it is advised to always stay away from the latest release of Apple's software, of course, because it brings a lot of new security patches. So if you want to jailbreak, of course, you want to stay away from the security patches because that's what usually helps us get a jailbreak. So you can download it right now over the air and at this point in time we have 10.3.1 officially rolled out to the public to everyone you can download it if you don't want to jailbreak or need a jailbreak you can download it now so it could get a little confusing but 10.3.2 is in the works for being uh, released later down the road uh, 10.3.1 was released today. And I was reading over some of Apple's uh, security uh, patches and software security updates, and uh, it looks like they rushed this update because there was something there that they don't want to really disclose that was very important to tackle right away. But anyway, we got the release. Now we have no numbers missing in between. So this iPhone is running 10.3. Now the 10.3.1 is officially out with no beta testing, is now the numbers continue to 10.3.2 beta 2 so now we're on the road and I also wanted to talk about uh, jailbreakers those who are currently jailbroken spring to mice for the successor of spring to mice 3 of course has been released for iOS 10 I've been encountering some animation issues when I turn on animations inside of settings and by the way big shout out to Tycology for putting together the iDevice help theme you can download it right now from Cydia no sources need to be added it's absolutely free as a gift for me to you we took on this project together I recommend you check out his Twitter and uh, YouTube page will be linked in the description I really like the icons I wanted to make something that was uh, standard and that everyone can understand sometimes when you place uh, themes or when you implement themes on your device you can't really tell what the icons mean so I wanted to do something that was dark because you guys know I like dark themes and something that was going to be uh, straightforward and hopefully you guys like it and enjoy it you can check that out in Cydia again guys those who are looking to jailbreak my best advice is to stay on 10.2 on an iPhone 7 or 7 plus but if you already updated to 10.2.1 uh, you can stay on 10.2.1 including all other 64-bit devices, I suggest you stay on 10.2.1. Stay away from anything near 10.3. And that is everything I wanted to share with you guys. Just wanted to go over all that. No new features have been added. Again, security enhancements with 10.3.1. As you can see here by the release notes, it includes the Find My AirPod feature and things like that, which were already implemented on 10.3. So this is more of a rushed security patch coming from Apple. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like always, don't forget to click that like button much more videos come your way be sure to stay tuned it's been a device help and i will catch you guys on the next one peace